everyone and welcome back to the Critter Corner. Today I'm going to be unboxing my order from DoobieRoaches.com and then feeding all of my pets. So if everything goes well, my reptiles will be getting some hornworms tonight. Um, I got home about an hour after the package got delivered and it's a little chilly outside but I'm hoping everything was okay. It wasn't like freezing cold. So we're going to open this stuff up, see what the deal is. And here we have mealworms, because um, my mealworm farm got mites. So we're starting fresh. And these guys are all good. I got a um, hundred of them. So these are gonna go in a separate room because I'm still trying to get rid of the um, mites in here. They were grain mites. So mealworms, I gotta keep out of here for a while until I completely get rid of them. I got hornworms. Now, these are small hornworms. I didn't realize they would be so small, but hornworms grow really fast. So in a couple of days, these will be big enough for my African fat tail gecko. Here they are. They're really teeny tiny, but I'm going to maybe feed my African fat tail one tonight, we'll see. I might wait for them to grow a little bit more, but my leopard gecko, crusty gecko, um, these will need to be a little bit bigger for them. And next we have dubia roaches. Again, these are small. I didn't realize they would be so small, but these are a 25 count and they are really teeny tiny. Um, So, oh my goodness. Yeah, they are so little, um, which is okay. Again, they'll grow, but I got a 25 count and they're just in there. They're so tiny, so tiny. Um, so I'm going to put these in my Dubia container that I have, Seasons Feeding Sticker, and then Happy Holidays, $5 off at checkout. So yeah, that's what I got. So yeah, here's my little haul, my doobie roaches, hornworms, and mealworms. All of these are too small to feed to my reptiles right now, which I didn't. Um, I didn't realize they would be so small, but that's okay. I'm going to be feeding everyone dubias instead. But hornworms, they will get fed. Um, maybe I'll do a whole separate video on feeding hornworms. So here's my dubia container. Um, these guys are getting pretty big and I fed all my reptiles last night but I was gonna feed them the hornworms as a treat instead I'm gonna feed them each one dubia as a treat so I'm gonna pull out some dubias I always try to get a pretty small one for my African fat tail and my leopard gecko still has some in his bowl from last night so I'm just going to take one out of his bowl and tong feed him so they're not getting a special little treat but they will get a treat when those hornworms get bigger um tonight i'm just gonna give them some vitamin a with these roaches just sprinkle a little bit in shake it up so yeah one for my crested gecko one for my african fat toe gecko and my leopard gecko will eat in his enclosure Okay, so I just grabbed my African fat tail gecko. We are going to get him into like a better feeding position. Dubias are not Mika's favorite. His favorite are um, definitely mealworms. So we'll see if he'll take this one. So if you haven't seen me feed Mika before, he is very stubborn. Um, but he just took that. Dubia. He has me tong feed him. I kind of gotta like pry his mouth open and then he'll take it. So as you saw, I just had to get his mouth open and once he got one bite of it, he ate the whole thing. He just finished it off. Um, but he's just very stubborn. African fat tails tend to be stubborn. Um, I haven't met a single person that hasn't had a problem with their African fat tail gecko. So yeah, but he ate his dubia, so I'm gonna go put him back so he can start digesting. So trying to get this back here, come on, 
he bit it, but he didn't take it. There we go. He got it. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on him. There we go. So yeah, Abu's a really good eater. Well, he's pretty much anything. So Zazu is in here and he left a roach. Let's see what he did. There we go. Good boy. So yeah, Zazu is also my good eater. As you can see, he was really gentle, but he always eats. Tarzan is never out this early, so you can tell he's very hungry. So I'm gonna start defawing his rat. So we have our defawed rat. Somebody is definitely hungry. <laughs> I mean, come on, that was so quick. So yeah, he's gonna start eating that. Jeez, I think that's the fastest he's ever taken a rat. He is going to probably go take it somewhere to hide. Um, he usually doesn't swallow it in front of me. But, yeah, he's going to go take it somewhere else. But we'll see. Maybe he will swallow it in front of us today. Okay, now that I have the flashlight on, I realize I have to clean up his poop. The spring tails are already working at it, though. But I'll get that out. Um, but, yeah, he's swallowing his rat. Um, he likes to go in the back of here and swallow it. And you can just see his neck stretched out. It's just so cool. There he goes. But, yeah, so sorry about the poop. But... I'm going to show the springtails. They are really working back here. Working hard. I'm sorry, this is like so random. Um, and not really related to the video, but I'm actually going to give him more giant canyons in here. To um work on that poop too. Um, <laughs> but yeah. There one of them goes. Um, he's swallowing it in there. Oh, it's like down his throat. I'm gonna try to get a better angle. There he goes. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Critter Corner. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do that. We almost have 200 subscribers and I have a ton of fun videos coming up. I'm going to the Florida Keys at the end of this month and I will get to meet marine isopods, possibly pet them, which would be super cool and I'll vlog all of it. So definitely subscribe. If you want to see me feed these hornworms, that content will be posted on TikTok and Instagram and that will be linked in the description as well. Um, and yeah, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching. I post on here on Wednesdays and Fridays, so make sure to tune in. We have a ton of cool stuff coming up. I'm so excited for you to see it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.